kids working on service projects in the out of doors is always fun to experience. And today we are at a Boy Scout camp where a really fun nature mural is going up. And we're going to learn about it with David Larimer. And David, you are the Scoutmaster for Troop 929. And tell us where we are. We are at Camp Topanibi, just south of Michigan City, Indiana. Uh -huh. Our troop is in Chesterton, Indiana. Okay. And Michael Mayoski is putting up a mural on the side of our building here at the camp. Uh, it represents all the history of the camp mm. and the the adventure of the camp. Okay, great. And so he he's kind of the artist that's got you know the idea in his head, but he's using scouts to help. Do the painting, right? He is. He's utilizing. He's right now. He's utilizing some scouts to help with some of the painting. Uh -huh. uh, I think they're working on bushes and trees right yeah, now. Yeah, that's uh, fun. Later on, they'll be doing a totem pole, uh, Adirondack cabin, and some of the other key things throughout the camp. Kind of the icons for the camp that exactly. will be represented. All right. Exactly. So I think I'm going to go talk to Michael and hopefully some of the young artists right. to get their experience and see what it's like. Thank you. All right. So this is Joe Larimer, and Joe, it looks like you're mixing up some paint. Yep. What are you making? I'm making brown. Brown, too, okay. All for right. highlighting the trees. Okay, so you used a little red, a little green, a little yellow. You didn't even come with brown paint. You came, you're actually mixing the paint to actually give, give yourself a brown. Yep. Huh? Awesome, yep. okay. All right, and then uh, you said you were going to highlight the trees, so we're yeah. going to add some light on top of the dark. And the building that this is on uh, here at uh, the camp. What is this building? What's it uh, for? It's kind of just the warehouse where we keep all the supplies for everything we do. I mean, from the haunted trail that we have uh, later in October to, uh -huh. you know, just projects we have out at camp. We just come out here, we get the tools, and there's wood out back that we can use. So it's kind of just uh, like the center for uh, Doing kind of all the operation kind of yeah, stuff. All yeah. right. So this will be kind of a nice little spruce up on the side of the building, huh? Instead of a, just a big brown wall. Yep. Yeah. That's great. All right. So I'm going to watch this technique here. Yeah. So you're just adding kind of light on top of the dark brown, right? And that yeah. just sort of gives it a little life instead of just a big dark tree. Yeah. So I'm going to check in with some of the other guys and see what they're working on because they look like they're painting blue trees over there. And yeah. I got to figure yeah. out what's going on over there. Sounds good. Okay. So this is Evan Mazerkowitz, and Evan, you are painting some blue stuff up there as part of a tree line, I guess. How come blue? I think of trees as like green. So what's up with that? Um, because I'm using undertone and nothing in nature is black. Okay, so you're kind of, you're creating the depth for the tree and probably as you folks work and other scouts work, they're going to come lighter and lighter and yeah. lighter. Okay, all right. So you got a big, pretty pretty big stiff brush right yeah he says it's his favorite brush <laughs> it's Michael yeah the artist's favorite brush and I noticed when he was dipping it in paint when he was showing you what to do he kind of twirled it did he tell you what that yeah was it's so it doesn't drip off ah which is probably good for me since I'm standing below yeah, you. yeah so <laughs> it doesn't drip on you I'm glad you learned that one mm -hmm. too. all right okay well I'm gonna let you keep going on the blue tree okay thank you so now I'm with the artist Michael Mayoski, and you are, you call yourself an itinerant artist, right? Itinerant, yeah. I was coined that in a newspaper article some time ago. Uh, I didn't know what it meant. And so what does it mean? It means traveling. Which is what you do. I do. And you've done these kinds of murals all over the place. All Grand, over the country. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids is one. Okay. And you're from Springfield. Kansas City originally. Oh, okay. But right. currently living in Springfield, Illinois. Okay. It's a good city. When you're there. When I'm there. When you're there. Okay. So tell us about your idea for this overall image. What's going to, you know, we're kind of seeing the early stages. What's right. it going to look like when it's Well, done? it's going to be a forest, essentially. Uh -huh. uh, a forest set, basically, this forest right here. Yeah. And so what you're going to start on here next, um, well, you've already started, but right. I mean, right at the moment, you're going to go over to where the logo is. The logo. Right? So let's travel. Now, this is obviously a little different technique here, Michael, because this has to be a little more precise, right? Right, correct. Luckily, they actually had, oh, watch the drip. <laughs> they actually had a um, stencil already cut out, oh, which nice. makes it okay. a lot easier. I'm used to freehanding different yeah, signs. sure. But you can, for signs, you can use a projector. But in the middle of the woods, uh, a projector uh, is not so much an option all the right. time. Right, okay. And what kinds of paint are you using? I'm just using basic outdoor exterior latex paint. Okay, so it's water-based. Water-based. So good. 
and Good. it's easy to clean up yep. and, and fairly non-toxic. Yep, that's great. Okay. Now I noticed when you were um, working with the young people who were helping you with this, right? What do you find? Is, you know, are they eager to try it? Are they resistant to try it? Are they a little apprehensive, or do they just kind of plunge right in as you work with them? Well, they plunged in for the best they could. <laughs> Painting's intimidating for most people. It is, uh, yeah. especially painting is something so large because right. it's going to be seen a lot. But I think you know, after me painting 16 years, 500 murals here and there, I've learned that uh, this is actually pretty small. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, and one of the things I've learned is to keep uh, the palette as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. But that's also that particular style. Right. If, ever, if you know, you allow for your mistakes. Mm -hmm. If you allow for mistakes, which you always will make them, yeah. that actually gives you your style. If everything was perfect, it'd look the same. Right. That's, so yeah, the trick sure. is to make a mistake look like it's not. <laughs> that is the best advice I can give any I future like painter. That. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Well, I'm wondering um, if there is a little spot somewhere where I can actually. Oh yeah, would you like to? Yeah, you think? Okay, yeah. Okay. Actually, you see those pine cones or the pine needles? You can do one of those. <gasps> really? That's a little bit more detail, oh. a little more finite. Okay. I see right, you've so painted before, correct? I have done a little, yeah. Right, and you notice, I mean, you're correct when if you pull the brush away, mm -hmm. it gets like into a thinner line. Right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now these are a little different color though, right? So yeah, did you are. go over those? I did. Okay. I'll draw with a neutral blue, such as that. Okay, yeah. And then uh, I'll go over it with um, reds and yellows and stuff. Yep. This being that we're doing a logo, we are using black. Well, we're gonna be able to show on the Outdoor Elements website some connections to your art. Oh, correct. Which is, which is great. And thanks for not only working with the Scouts, but making this a really unique project here at Camp Topanini. Anytime. All Thank right, you very much. fun to talk to you. Thanks, Michael. Very good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the nature of art. On the Outdoor Elements website, we'll have a list of plants that you can use to try your own natural dyes. I'm Evie Kirkwood from St. Joseph County Parks, and remember, you can find your own outdoor elements when you visit area parks and nature centers. We'll see you next time. Outdoor Elements is presented in partnership with the St. Joseph County Parks Department, regional parks with natural fun, St. Patrick's County Park, Ferretti Bago Creek County Park, Bendix Woods County Park, and the Spicer Lake Nature Preserve. Outdoor Elements is made possible in part by viewers like you. Thank you.